welcome back. This is Why in the Morning. And of course, uh, this is Youth and Politics coming up right about now. If at all you're just joining us, thank you so much for sticking with the Y254, your number one youth station. My name is Ram Maguko. It's a pleasure being with you today. Let's talk about matters concerning youth, matters concerning you. Remember, we are now less than 24 hours to the swearing-in ceremony of the president-elect Dr. William Samway Ruto, together with uh, his uh, 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 present uh, deputy-elect, uh, that is Rigade Gashagwa. We are looking at... Uh, at uh, that particular story in a bit and we shall take a look at the people daily just highlighting a few stories that are making headlines today and of course we welcome and we invite you to join in on this particular conversation uh, today i am with uh, to my far uh, right i am joined by edward giraiga he is uh, the president of bunge la mwanainchi karusana edward Thank you very much for having me once again. I'm always, today, I'm always proud to be at 254. Yeah. That's the code to keep it real. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and KBC, you know, the number one station. Yeah. And this is the young side of it. So mm -hmm. we're here to support and to ensure that the content that you have is uh, good enough for the young people mm -hmm. so that they can get educated and find their way through in life. Thanks, man. Thank thanks, you so much. Thanks, man. And thank of course, you for having me. Next to me, I'm with Cheryl Blessing. She is a youth entrepreneur. Karibu sana, Sheryl. Thank you, Ram. How are you feeling? It's a pleasure to be here. Thank I'm you, feeling thank good. You. <laughs> and, and, and speaking of which, yes. um, we, it's, it's, it's my joy. Mm. KBC is going to be the official, and it is the official uh, 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 partner, the media house that shall be able to broadcast the ceremony tomorrow. Mm -hmm. No other. Yes. yes. I'm telling you. Huh? I told you this last time. Uh, <laughs> I remember I was in, uh, during the Kasarani anxiety, no, yeah. Kasarani bombers. Mm. Uh, mm. During that day yeah. that uh, there was an announcement on the 15th, mm. I was luckily to be hosted uh, at the KBC station, Channel yeah, 1. Yeah, yeah. And I told them they're the best station. And it's, it's because of a lot of monopoly that has been there uh, before and private sector kind of been very fast and having enough money so i'm sure this time round uh it getting that right mm. to air the inauguration and uh the new government coming in it's mm. very optimistic that mm. kbc will go back to its old glory days mm. yes. yeah so it's, it's a good thing mm. proud it to is. be kbc and remember we, we are using the hashtag uh, the great <coughs> kbc that is a hashtag the great <coughs> kbc if you're tweeting, the ensure that you also tweet uh, using the hashtag Why in the Morning. And the great KBC is the hashtag because that is what we are going to make trend. Watch uh, the stones that the bill has rejected. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, Did you see that, quote, that, 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 that viral quote? It, 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 it was going around. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. And it's sensational because also uh william ruto was like that kind of story that, kind of that was rejected yeah. by the so-called uh, big brother <laughs> yeah but uh, he's now come up to be the cornerstone of this country mm -hmm. and kbc will be right there behind i sound like an uh, an anchor yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but of course we welcome your feedback in regards to this particular discussion tag me at rama google that is my handle the official session handles at y254 channel uh, and, and ensure that you uh, head over to our Facebook page. You have a question of the day. Uh, like the page, follow us on that particular platform. And of course, we shall be able to sample your feedback even as you continue with this morning conversation. Let us know where you're watching us from and give us your thoughts in regards to these particular issues that we shall be able to discuss this fine Monday morning. It is all about youth and politics. And of course, let's take a look at the people daily. On my particular paper, we are going to page four of this uh, paper where we are looking at the tough journey ahead of uh, the the president elect's uh, uh, um, inauguration mm. because here we are looking at within the next 24 hours to go before the president elect william ruto is sworn into office his in tray is full already and we are looking at a raft of expectations from all kenyans from the public and a myriad of problems that have uh, that he has to address he, during his campaign, was talking about the bottom up. Bottom up. 
Now, even as he supports us, uh, support us strong the Kasarani co Sports Complex tomorrow to receive the, uh, you know, to, to watch uh, this particular uh, event. And, of course, even as they are going to uh, uh, go there to receive the instruments of power from the outgoing President Uhuru Kenyatta, the, uh, Dr. Ruto will be worried about an uh, anxious supporters who expect him to walk uh, the talk and uh, deliver on the many ex uh, uh, promises that... Uh, he made during his campaigns. And the question is, will he deliver? Bottom-up approach, will he deliver? Cheryl, your thoughts in regards to that. Do you think that he will deliver now that you're looking at it tomorrow? Because after the swearing in, Kazin answer. Uh, I think he, he painted a very beautiful picture, mm. especially in a nation where so many people are depending on micro-businesses. There are so many hustlers out there. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he decided to come up with the bottoms up economy it's a very good policy mm. and there's a chance he might deliver there's a chance yes it will be all work and not talk i think mm. he is a hustler because he started he's not he did not start as a well-off man he started from the bottom and he built himself up mm -hmm. and he has recognized that micro businesses have really played a role in the Kenyan economy. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think if he does support them, it will help even with the, with the loan that we have as a country. Mm -hmm. So he might deliver, he's talked about releasing 50 billion, which he'll also give to businesses in terms of loans with the small interest. Mm. So I think he might deliver on might, some of the process. Might, might. Yes. I, I don't, you know, it, it, people criticize the bottom up, yes. saying that it did not work in other jurisdictions. Mm -hmm. Why would it work in Kenya? Do you think this will work here? I don't think it didn't work in other jurisdictions. Mm -hmm. It may have had challenges, but mm -hmm. every country has its own uh, peculiar situation. Mm. Like in Kenya, indeed this is needed. The bottom-up is needed. Uh, like uh, you can see from the colonial days, right? Slums, ghettos mm, mm. were created because uh, the, the white plantations uh, that were established by the British colonialists had, had to employ people or enslave people mm. or use forced labor. Mm. And where they slept or where they resided was, uh, you know, the, like that's how the slums came in because it was just informal. So you can see that kind of thing has been, discrimination has always been there. So when he talks about bottom-up, it's really an African renaissance kind of thematic way he's talking about. Mm -hmm. It's not global in its perspective, it's African in its perspective. Because mm -hmm. the African, the Kenyan has suffered for many, many years. Mm -hmm. He's been colonized, he's been enslaved. He's gone through regimes that have never thought of him, regimes in our government that have always looked at big business, that have always looked at the macro side of business, macro side of things, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, even when you talk about uh, investing in our budgetary fiscal plan, it's mm -hmm. always been about the machinery, um, the big projects, but never human uh, based never yeah. human capital mm. based mm. Mm. never thinking about when you mentioned about the 50 billion mm. 50 billion being pumped into a hustler fund will mean that millions of kenyans will have impact from that money and what bottom up does is the social upliftment and the economic empowerment because already kenyans as we are today if it's not for Kenyans who are in business, if it's not for Kenyans who are employed, if it's not for Kenyans who run industries, Kenya would not be standing. Look at it there. is the Kenyans who pay the taxes. Mm. But what has happened is the government has had a, 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 a kind of backward a way of doing things. I remember what William Ruto was saying yesterday about how he spoke to the KRA, well, that, that the way they collect revenue needs to change. The yes. approach they have towards business people, I mean, how can you be employed and you're paying 35% yeah, of income tax mm -hmm. of what you earn, you know, pay as you earn, mm -hmm. and you have rent to pay, your child can get sick, your mother at home can be sick, you have, you know, so COVID things. came, yeah. so KRA needs to understand that it's a Kenyan institution that is serving Kenyans. Mm. And the only reason why these other countries like Singapore, the Asian Tigers grew, mm. yes, they did increase on their collection. But the other thing that bottom up and where they need to get their money, 
is to look at the mineral resources that we have in this country. I'm looking at I'm, I'm looking at what Ruto said. Yes, you've addressed the issue of Kerry, yes. and uh, he was talking about this particular issue, and he said that Kenyans must pay taxes. Indeed, yes. because we're looking at a debt of over ten trillion Kenyan shillings, yes. Yes. and and we must pay taxes. But now I'm I'm drawn to the high cost of living. Well, I'm, I'm drawn to the mm -hmm. issue of increased in fuel prices mm -hmm. and, and and we may see this come up by wednesday yes. if i'm not wrong wednesday yeah fuel prices might increase yes. i'm mm -hmm. I, i'm looking at the prices of onga yes i'm looking at the high cost of living that kenyans have been talking about and yes. whether it will be able to be addressed yes you can you can look at uh, like all this has come because of various factors mm. from the beginning and from onset when uh, the former government that is outgoing right now came up with the subsidy program, mm. we did not support it as Bungelo Anainchi. But it was meant to help them Anainchi. But in the end of the day, even when you look at right now how many billions that have been paid in that subsidy to marketers, we have a government, we need William Ruto's government to negotiate mm. with countries that want to give us oil at a cheap price. Mm. If it is going to Russia, let us go to Russia. Mm. Get our oil at a cheap price because Mwanainchi has to stop paying expensive. Because you can even understand about the landing cost mm. of fuel. Mm. The same government has to reduce the landing cost of fuel. Mm. And also, we need to upgrade. The bottom up cannot work if we don't upgrade the refinery in Mombasa so that we get crude oil and refine it for our own consumption. Mm. And we also have to get investors to go to Turukana. Right now, the bottom up is not for us to look outside anymore. It's for us to look for self sustainability in our country. Mm. Cheryl, your thoughts on, on I like what you've said mm. because if we focus on our own industries, if we localize a lot of the production, mm. it will cut down most of the costs because mm. even the issue of maize, we have a lot of this, but then the, the farmers are not being supported. Yes. That's why all the, the costs are rising up. Exactly. So if we localize and support the local industries, refine them such that we can be self-sustainable as a country, mm. then it's very possible mm. to clear the debt, to reduce cost of living, and for every person to benefit from mm. the economy of mm. Kenya. Because as it stands, so many people are they're struggling to make ends meet. Yeah. So you earn something from, from a buyer or if you're a Boda guy, the rider pays you and then you have to pay for fuel. Mm. So that's just hand to mouth. Yeah. It's really not sustaining us mm. and it's not, people will not pay taxes if they don't have money to pay taxes. Yeah. Well, 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 during the campaign period, mm -hmm. um, we had the government that was working with uh, millers yeah. uh, uh, during this time uh, to bring down the cost of maize flour mm. to 100 shillings for 10 uh, a kg packet through a subsidy program that was there and of course um s uh, since the election however the cost has gone back to between 230 shillings to 250 shillings mm. per, per, per packet mm. yes. and now during the, his campaign mm. ruto also promised to lower the fertilizer <coughs> prices from 6000 to 2500 yes. now i'm looking at the, the the logic in regards to this mm. because i'm looking at what the government did and what actually happened yeah. what where we are and what the deep what dr ruto is actually promising mm. Mm. is it realistic Yes, it is very realistic because, first of all, if you read clearly what he said in even his manifesto, yes, is investment in production, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Whereby what we are having now, subsidizing the miller, is the wrong way of doing things. Mm. That's the end. That's the, uh, the value addition. So a subsidy well, will help. The, 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 the miller is not the farmer. He didn't uh -huh. produce it. And if you look at how much the miller paid the farmer, it's zero. Yeah. Mm. It's negligible. You understand? Mm. So what William Ruto was saying is that he will come and invest his money in, in subsidizing for production yes. so that we can increase our production. Mm. Let me tell you, we have so much arable land mm. in this country mm. that we haven't even touched. And then he talks about investing in irrigation mm. because we've seen, like in the last two years, rains have failed. Yeah. So yeah. therefore, we need to invest in dams and irrigation schemes yeah. so that we can have production all throughout the year. 
the maize can you imagine we're importing maize from malawi if you look at the gdp of malawi and kenya which is greater kenya mm. isn't it yeah. but we are failing all the money like for example all the money that we get as foreign exchange goes back out because we have to buy the maize mm. instead of us having those reserves yeah for a rainy day like covid so that that money can then be used to buy the the, the covid medication COVID. Yeah. or the emergency support that we need so i believe that william ruto is looking at this whole aspect of running the country the way it was it would be now upside down and no. the right way up you know it will be the right way up <laughs> no. because it's from understanding and i remember you remember very well and mm. the best example is this mm. is having the 47 county oh, yes. economic forums that he did he has business intelligence he has social issues he has everything that every community and county needs and wants and where it is mm. it's like a SWOT analysis that he did yeah. so immediately he comes in it's just twitching things and things start flowing seamlessly That's yeah true. and with the support of the monainchi and i want to tell you mm. monainchi is ready to invest i like what he said yesterday this is an idea we took ourselves as young people to the state house mm. we met even uh, we, we were supposed to meet mr kenya mm. so that he can awaken the the, the consciousness of the president mm. when during covid 19 we came up with uh, something called covid recovery plan for the youth economic recovery because we believe that the youth would have the muscle though, however little to, to to help the government and and, and on the same breath we are talking about the youth let's talk about a, 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 an employment issue mm -hmm. um youth are looking forward to us to, to to some loans mm. um to help them and of course the uh, uh, dr ruto had promised um, a few of these things because there's uh, a, a, a program that will loan youths, uh, uh, in, you know, uh, give youth loans with mm -hmm. a low interest of 5% uh, uh, per year. Mm. And uh, they are looking at the, uh, uh, you know, uh, low rates, uh, giving it to, um, you know, ma making life easier for the mamamboga mm -hmm. and, and the unemployed youths to be able to, you know, bring themselves up yeah do you yes. believe that uh, the issue of employ uh, unemployment will be tackled uh, as promised by dr william bruto if he actually follows through with his plans and starts from the ground because once you once you start with the farmers once you start with the, the producers then it's possible to create even opportunities for more people to come in what's missing right now is there are not as many opportunities, so people have to create their own opportunities. Mm. And then these opportunities that they've now come up with, they're mm. not being supported. So if we can support the opportunities that people have created, the small businesses, then it's very possible to create more channels of mm. employment. <coughs> mm. If I personally decide to set up a business mm. and I get a loan which allows me to employ two more people, that creates employment. <coughs> so eventually, it's going to reduce the rate of unemployment, which has been increasing since 2019. So if issues are addressed from the very bottom, and that is tackled, if he actually goes to the ground and decides to help the local people, then it's very possible to tackle all of these issues. There's mm. something called the uh, Hustlers Fund. Yeah. Yeah. Hustlers Fund mm -hmm. that is going to be established. And uh, <laughs> I love the fact that uh, we are looking at Hustlers Fund that uh, um, they are looking at establishing it within, within the first 100 days. Yeah. 100, 100 days. days. Yeah. Realistic? Very realistic. Workable. I mean, look. Unemployment already solved. Already. No, no, no. Look, uh, unemployment was not an issue that came up in a day. Even all governments have grappled with unemployment factor. Mm -hmm. And globally, it is said that uh, we have a youth bulge. So there's an increase of numbers in terms of demography of young people globally. Mm -hmm. So it's not just a Kenyan situation, it's a global situation, the unemployment issue. But coming back home, mm -hmm. I would like to urge young people, organize yourself. If you're in any county, go and look for the county economic forum that uh, UDA or Kenya Kwanzaa held and find out what are those things that people saw as the economic activity or the agricultural activity or the social activity or the needs that people need to solve themselves. Position yourself among those county visions because you see we always depend on national government and forget that 35 percent or 15 percent thereabouts goes to the county governments so that then this Mwanainchi, the young person on the ground can be able to 
get themselves. As in Bungela Wananchi, what we've done, we've come up with various programs. There's capacity building programs, which are basically targeting youth who are employed, I mean, unemployed, in this sense. Young people have been uh, devastated by COVID-19 and economic uh, hardship. Mm -hmm. And most of them lost their jobs, you remember, during mm -hmm. COVID. Yes. And even those who had businesses suffered. So within Bungela Wanainchi at Jivanji, we'll be having a help desk where young people can come and they can be helped how to make their CV. Mm -hmm. And not just their CV, we can reorganize their career. For example, if it's a person who has some skills, technical skills, we will organize for them a profile and link them to private sector and public sector through the county government and national government. And these are the channels that the only way that uh, bottom-up can work. Mm -hmm. Because even William Ruto, when he was campaigning, like you mentioned, he was talking about the Mamambogas. He wasn't talking about a partnership with himself or coming from the top, and that's the wrong way, trickle down. No. Mm. It's now us. We're the ones who are going to spur this economic development. We're no longer going to look up with empty uh, plates begging for droplets to be dropped. No, the economy has to come from the ground. Mm -hmm. And therefore, as in Bungalow Nainchi, we're also going to establish an entrepreneurship and innovation hub. Because we've realized by the bulge of the youth that we have in this country, we, that means most of them are educated. Yeah. I can tell you 80% of young people in this nation have one form of education or another. And actually maybe 20-30% uh, have gone tertiary right 50 percent have done uh, technical uh, training so these are people with skills but these skills are misplaced mm -hmm. these skills are not connecting with the right jobs so we've realized that because there are no jobs we need to be self-employed in bungalow 90 we'll be able to have this innovation and employment hub so that the young people who have these skills can come and change their skills into entrepreneurship now, let into me, enterprises now, 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 now let me uh, that's a good thing and, 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 and i'll come back to you because you've uh, 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 touched on so many key areas that yes. uh, mm -hmm. i'd like to, you to touch on but cheryl yes as a youth let me just give, give it all your own personal feeling here mm -hmm. um do you feel how how do you feel about tomorrow we're looking at the swearing in ceremony of uh, dr ruto and 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 the instruments of power are going to be trans uh, to, to be transferred mm -hmm. from president uru kenyatta to dr ruto do you feel like the country um is now having brighter days ahead and there is light at the end of the tunnel as a young person employment un unemployment the economy yeah come on youth the truth is i feel skeptical because as a country we have been in a dark tunnel for a long time a very long time so every time a new leader comes in, they have these promises, they have plans in place, mm. but we don't always see the plans being put into place. Or there's no action that's taken after all the words have been spoken. Mm. So I'm a bit skeptical and I'm waiting to see. Because if you noticed even with the elections, half of the people, so many voters did not actually go to vote. And these people share the same sentiment as me because we got to a point where we gave up and now it's up to us. We should not rely on the leadership. So, like he's saying, it's up to us to be informed. It's up to me to know what channels I can get help from mm. and how I can grow myself personally mm. without relying on mm. my leaders mm. or mm. whatever government is in place. So I'm waiting to see, quite honestly, I'm reserving my opinions up until the 100 days are done. Then I can see what the new government comes up with. Mm -hmm. But as I stand right now, I'm very skeptical and it's you just... You don't know what to expect. I don't know what to expect, quite honestly, yes. I, wow. think, uh, I think there will be progress because you can see that uh, William Ruto has a vision and a vision that he believes in very much mm. to an extent of winning the election and having even the IBC announce him and having even the seven judges uh, declare his win as uh, uh, legal.
So this is a man who is determined and uh, nothing will stop him nothing will stop uh, him. to mm. see that Kenya changes and reaches to the levels that it's supposed to reach. Um, I mean, I want to talk about as well um, issues of uh, economic recovery. He has to spar trade mm. and has to open the country in this sense. In the last 10 years of the Jubilee government, we've signed over, I think, 300 bilaterals. Mm. These bilaterals are trade agreements, economic agreements, social impact agreements in terms of, uh, let's say, you need social support or like maybe you have food, hunger mm. and stuff like that. Uh, some are technological uh, bilaterals in the foreign affairs. What William Ruto needs to do is come up with a bilateral program that opens up all these bilaterals and turns these bilaterals into opportunities for Kenyans. Mm. So, for example, if it's in agriculture, like what we had with the Agoa Trade Agreement, we need, to know, we need to make and enable Kenyans to know that if they can produce, they can export. Uh -huh. And if they can uh -huh. export, they can earn more. Yes. Because the dollar is now at 130 Imagine. Or thereabouts. Mm. So we should be working hard to earn the dollar. Yeah. So that what we sell out there, we earn the dollar. Mm. So that our economy can also rise. But what we are doing is opposite, sir, if you may give me a chance. Mm -hmm. Our economy is based on import economy. Yes. And I would like to challenge His Excellency William Samoy Ruto. I know he's watching Y254, of course. Look at Nyao Pioneer, at the Numerical Machine Complex. One of the organizations that we work with, Vision 2030 Youth Entrepreneurs, is working to establish something called the Bullet Jembe. But when we visited the, the, the Numerical Machine Complex as that organization, we found the Nyao Pioneer put in a closet, dusted, a project that would have seen us have our own vehicles today instead of importing the Toyotas, the Suzukis, and, make, and, 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 and all these American European brands and making us depend on them. And yet again, buying that car is not, it's our shilling that we'll have to convert into dollars to mm -hmm. import that car. So I'm urging His Excellency, go and awaken the Nyayo Pioneer project mm -hmm. and let us see Kenya wow. produced, and this would mm -hmm. be a good example. Remember the patriotism that Nyayo Pioneer gave Kenyans, mm -hmm. a self of belonging. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, 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 and Edward, I want us to bring this conversation to a close. Um, and of course, uh, we're saying that tomorrow, remember, we uh, are proud as Y254 TV that uh, the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation is going to uh, uh, share or, or broadcast the live uh, feed or the live inauguration of the pres present presidential um, inauguration ceremony, the swearing-in ceremony of uh, Dr. William Ruto taking place tomorrow. We are looking forward to a lot uh, after that particular event, and we are also looking forward to his speech. What are what are uh, uh, you know what is uh, the doctor going to say? What are his priorities uh, uh, set for tomorrow? Uh, but as, as we bring this to a close, maybe I can give you time to have a final word, uh, Cheryl. What will be your parting shot as we bring this uh, to a close? Let's have hope in the new government and let the government do something. Let the county governors, let the, the president who is about to be sworn in, actually do something for the youth because the youth are the future of Kenya and our economy relies on the micro businesses. Right. If we focus on that, then Kenya is going to go to a very different place. All right, thank you so much. Uh, I don't, I'm coming to you to have a final word, but before that, yes. let me say congratulations. Thank you. You got sworn in yes. as the president of Bungela Monainchi. Yes. Congratulations on that. Yeah. Have a final word, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, for me, basically, is uh, we want to work with His Excellency William Samoy Ruto. We respect the man for what he has been able to achieve. I believe he has made modern history by showing that anything that a man can put his mind to and be organized, he can be able to achieve. What I would like William Ruto to speak on his first speech is, number one, the issues of unemployment. The unemployment issue has been so much ravaging our people. I mean, 
at bunge la wananchi where it was called jobless corner at, at uh, from the 80s and 90s from uh, way back even since jubilee came kenyans have been unemployed and they're employed for a long time william ruto have intentional means of creating and stimulating employment in this country the other thing i would like to recall is that you spur entrepreneurship we know that you came in highly speaking about the young uh, Boda Boda Rider, the Mama Mboga on the street, and all the other traders who are trading in this country. Let the Hustler Fund reach these people. Because even you know we've had Youth Fund, Weso Fund, Women's Fund, which have all done good enough, but they have not solved the problems on the ground. So apart from just giving them the money and, and enabling them, also look at solving their social problems, such as housing, health matters, uh, issues to do with uh, access to rights and justice. These are very, very important things. And this is what that's going to make Kenya grow together. And so that everybody in this country, like my sister has said here, we are looking forward to benefiting from this government. And not just benefiting from any handouts, no. We expect that this country will be corruption free. We like what you said yesterday about the cartels which have destroyed and devastated the, um, the industry of agriculture by having brokers and cartels and all that. Mm -hmm. We're also urging you mm -hmm. to look into this Saudi Arabia issue. Right. Us as Bungalow 90, we're right. taking our petition to the National Employment Agency mm -hmm. and also we're taking it to the Ministry of Labor. Why are they registering these agencies right. that are enslaving our people? And especially our women. Our women in Kenya, His Excellency Ruto, need to be protected. Mm -hmm. And uh, shout out to all my friends and my fans at Bungela 90. Asana, asana. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't want to start an, uh, yet another discussion. Yes. But uh, 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 we shall talk about those. No, that, that was meant to be in the speech. I hope you can say it. Like, mm. you know, when we see Kenyans go abroad and they, you know, they suffer slavery, yeah, that yeah. should be in his speech. It should be in his yeah, speech. Yeah, he should, he should give us confidence and give those Kenyans out there who are suffering oh. to know that the president is there and he hears their cry but well, mm. well uh, let's move this discussion to a close and uh, i want to say a big thanks to cheryl thanks so much for coming thank you for having thanks me thanks so much edward for coming you're welcome thank, thank you so much Asante. and of course i want to thank everybody that ensured this show was a success thank you so much for uh, uh tuning in and uh, being part of this discussion it, it, it has been all about matters concerning youth and politics and as i said earlier on to, tomorrow we are looking at uh, the swearing in ceremony of uh, dr william ruto we are looking at the transfer of powers from uh, president uru kenyatta to the president elect dr william ruto what are your expectations in terms of his speech his delivery first 100 days you talk to me. The hashtag is Y in the morning at Y254 channel and my handle at Ram Aguko. And of course, thank you so much for tuning in. We are taking a short break. We still have more coming up your way. My name is Ram Aguko. This has been Youth and Politics. This is Y in the morning. We'll take a short break. We'll be back in a bit. <laughs>